Hey guys, it's Rachel. Today is Wednesday, which means, as always, Top 5 Wednesday. Today's topic is Worst Love Interest. So this was quite a tough choice for me. Looking through all my bookshelves, I thought it was actually very hard to just choose five, but I managed it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting at number five, we have Ginny Weasley from the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Yeah, personally, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, but I have never been too fond of Ginny. I don't think she was right for Harry. I don't think she deserved him. I know that's really mean, but I just never really got... I love all the other Weasleys, Ron, the twins, I just, oh, they're so brilliant. But Ginny just kind of annoyed me throughout the series. I didn't like, I didn't really connect with her. So her whole crush on Harry since the beginning just kind of pissed me off. And then towards the end, when there's actual feelings developed, I just didn't really get it. I didn't really like it. I personally, I don't know why, but I've always wanted Harry to be with Luna. And I don't know why, I just always wanted that. Just personal ship of mine. So that's the one ship in this series that I did not like. Next at number four, we got Neil from Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Yeah, this whole book is about a woman called Georgie and her marriage with her husband Neil is kind of going downhill. She wants to fix it. She has, she ends up finding a magic telephone that she can use to ring the past. So she talks to like a younger version of her husband and she wants to fix her marriage. Personally, I didn't like Neil at all. I thought he was, I know he was really great with the kids, but he just didn't interest me. I didn't see what she loved about him. I didn't see any great qualities about him. He just kind of pissed me off. And I personally wanted Georgie to be with her best friend Seth. But yeah, that didn't happen. So good times. Overall, I did like this book. I just didn't agree with the ending. And it's definitely not my favorite Rainbow Rowell book, but it was, it was okay, it was okay. Next at number three, we got Ben Parrish from The Infinite Sea, or The Fifth Wave, by Rick Yancey. This is the second book in the Fifth Wave trilogy. I only recently read this, and I don't, I don't really know what to say about it. It just, I don't know what's going on at this stage. Evan and Cassie, I mean, this book isn't a love triangle, which is actually what I thought it would be after I uh, read The Fifth Wave, but there is sort of a Cassie. Ben, Cassie, Evan thing going on. I wouldn't exactly call it a love triangle, but there's something, it's like, I don't know. Both boys seem to like her, but it's not obvious, but there's like hints and stuff. I don't really know. Basically, I just, I'm terrified for what's gonna happen in The Last Star, which comes out in May of this year, and I just really hope it's not Ben Parrish with Cassie. I don't think it will be, but just, I just, want him away from Cassie because Evan Walker and Cassie are like my ultimate ship at the moment. I love them so much. And yeah, Ben Parrish kind of annoyed me. I didn't mind him in the fifth wave. I actually loved him in the fifth wave. Then in this book he started to piss me off and I realised I don't like him as much as I thought. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't think he's a good love interest for Cassie if he even is that. It's hard to really tell. If you read this book you'd understand what I mean. Next at number two we got Camille who is in The Mortal Instruments, The Infernal Devices, and The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. So I'm holding up The Bane Chronicles at the moment because I feel like this shows Camille and Magnus' relationship more. Camille is a vampire and Magnus Bane is a warlock. Basically Camille is an absolute bitch. <laughs> She's just, I hated her character from the start. I just, the first Cassandra Clare book I ever read was Clockwork Angel and Camille makes an appearance in that and I didn't like her. And then any other time she's showed up, I've just hated her more and more, so... And Magnus Bane is my own personal favourite character, so I... I just can't see him with Camille, ever. She is such a horrible person, I hate her so much. Just anything between those two makes me feel sick. I hate those two together. Thank God for Alec Lightwood. Despite hating Camille, I actually enjoyed the short stories in this about Magnus and how he met Camille and how their relationship developed and then broke apart just because it was really fun to read but I really really hate Camille Belcourt. I hate her so much. And finally at number one, the love interest that I probably hate the most, Teresa from the Maze Runner trilogy. <sighs> no, I just hate Teresa. She just annoys me so much. I love Thomas. He is just such a great character. I love him as a protagonist. I love him telling the story. I didn't like I didn't hate her in this book. I actually didn't mind her. Then in The Scorch Trials and The Death Cure, I just found myself hating her so much. I couldn't see them two together. I hate, 
oh no. I just didn't feel any connection between those two. I found her to be such a horrible character. Didn't connect with her at all. And just the thought of those two being together makes me feel bleh. So... Don't get me wrong, this trilogy is absolutely amazing. Well, this one and Scorch Trials anyway. The Death Cure, not so much, but yeah. Teresa is just the, my least favourite character in the series. I love the rest of them. I don't think she's a good free male character. Uh, Brenda, I think her name is, she uh, appears in the Scorch Trials. And I think she's a much better female character for this series, so yeah. Basically, I just really did not enjoy anything about Teresa in this series. So that is it for my top 5 Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will hopefully have another video up soon. So I shall see you then. Slam live!